Uh, hi guys, and, and welcome to... I, I don't know, I, I guess it's an update or something. Um... Uh... Yeah. Oh, well, anyway. What we're gonna do is, um... There's a cave here and I wanted to explore it. So, yeah. Um... Oh my fucking god, it's copper! Hi guys. <laughs> Hi guys and welcome back to Let's Craft an Update with me, Otsfu. And, well, I just wanted to play some goddamn Tekkit. But also, I've been gone a weekend. I've not been actually saying much of what's been going on in my life. And I'm, I like to talk about my life, you know, so. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, got a little disoriented there. It's been so long since I've actually played any Minecraft. But, ooh, like, nice little skylight up there. Nice little cave system. As you'll remember, well, actually, I probably should do a recap before I get all into the, get into all this stuff, this Minecraft stuff, whatever that is. Come on, come on, swim faster. Swim faster. Come on. God, swimming in Minecraft. Worst thing ever. That was terrible. Get out of here, get out of here. I don't need you. I don't need anybody. Yeah, yeah, we got plenty of coal there. Well, anyway, what happened last time on Let's Craft an Update with Mio Fu is that we pretty much started out this cr crazy thing. Found a nice little nook and cranny to place a little base, and god damn it, it's getting dark already. It's getting dark already. God damn it. <laughs> but, uh, can we. Yeah, we can get basalt. Already. Awesome. Still don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. I don't usually have to say it in conversation, so... If I am, we're too fucking bad. I don't care. Um... But yeah, tech it. We... we did we actually do anything? Did we actually get anything going? I think we only, uh... Got a little base. Oh no, we got an iron furnace. That's That's right. The nifty little iron furnace that cooks everything twice as fast. We got some rubber. You got any copper? Uh, we get some copper with us right now, but I don't... Oh, we get some copper cable, so we'll make more of that later. I know there's more cave here, but we'll deal with that later, too. But anyway... Anyway, anyway, anyway. How have you guys been? I've been great... Went to Oticon, which was Maryland, which meant I got to go across the country for once because I never do any traveling, because we never go on vacations or anything. Yeah. I get to go and see people dressed up as anime people. It was great. It was so great. <gasps> no, it was, it was really fun, and I uh, got to go down with OX Girl Fu, a bunch of friends... Had a great time, and for those of you that know, ah, my obsessions with anime, I'm obsessed with the anime Puella Magi Madoka Magica, and goddamn, it's starting to rain. This was, this was the tundra, or the taiga, I think they call it here. Is that like the Russian word for tundra or something? I don't know. Um... There'd be snow coming down all over the place, and it'd be beautiful. It would be a winter wonderland. But no, we have to have dull, dour, depressing rain. I'm gonna go inside and just cry away my troubles. <gasps> but anyway, yeah, for those of you that know my obsessions with anime, you know that I am absolutely in love with the anime series Puella Magi Madoka Magica. And if you've not watched it, if you've not heard of it, you should check it out, because it's freaking awesome. And that's a truck in the background. Pay no mind. <laughs> um, but last year... Well, last year it came out, and I went to Otakon last year, and I got to meet the producer, shake hands with him, get a picture with him. I bought some Modica fan art at the convention and got him to sign it. 
this year, I returned to Otakon, and no, the producer did not, but that's okay. I've already, again, shook his hands, got his autograph, got my picture, so I don't, I don't, I don't really care. Um, not like he would remember me anyway. I mean, I'm one person out of, like, 10,000 <laughs> more. Oh my god, if you've ever been to Otakon, you know it's like 20,000 people down there. But, oh, hello, skeleton. How's it going? Let's rearrange. Ha! Huh. <laughs> I learned that you can actually right-click, and I don't know if this is only tech it or if it works in regular Minecraft, but you you middle-click, not right-click, that was crazy of me to say that. You middle-click, and it rearranges your inventory, which is just about the coolest thing ever, because I sp this <laughs> Minecraft is pretty much inventory management the game for me without that little useful handy trick. Let's get some more iron. We need some. We're gonna need so much iron later on in Tekken. But anyway, this year when I went back to Otakon, they had the writer of the series, Gen Orbushi, Orbushi, or Gen Orbushi, sorry. Probably mispronouncing his name, but uh, I'm not Japanese and didn't grow up knowing his name. Not sure a lot of people grew up knowing his name, even in Japan, but... Because he's only come into, uh... Oh, goddammit, I can't get that skeleton. He's only come into, uh... Having a huge fan follow... He, he's only come into having a huge amount of fans recently. Ever since, uh, he wrote Fates... The Fate Zero, the Fate Stay Night spinoff that was... As far as I'm told, the good one. <laughs> so, and then Puella Magi. And now everybody loves him. Um, but I got to go see him. I didn't get to take a picture because I guess he just doesn't like people taking pictures. We weren't allowed photography at all. I mean, even in the guidebook, it doesn't have a, a picture of him. Oh my god, lava. This will come in handy. Maybe we can do some geothermal en energy. Instead of solar like I usually do. You know, branch out. Be creative. Uh, but I did get to have him sign the same picture that I got signed by the producer last year. Which was absolutely fantastic. Because, well, I've got two of the people that made possible uh, the, the show to sign some pretty fantastic fan art. Which is, well, pretty fantastic. I don't want to hit that lava, but I don't want to leave this. There we go. Cap it. And that should go away eventually. Soon enough. Soon enough. Oh, hey, more uranium. I guess uh, somebody really wants me to buy, uh, build a nuclear reactor or something. <laughs> All right, we're going to need a torch. Oh, I'm surprised the water isn't getting rid of that. I shouldn't place it there anyway. Because that lava is going to go away. We're going to be just completely lost in the darkness. It won't be fun getting back out. Ooh, more coal. Gonna need that. Because until we are able to get things up and running, our next challenge is to get a generator so we can start powering things that we're going to build afterwards, like macerators, furnaces other things because I'm not really good with tech it and I can't remember what's what 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 we have to do you know and we can't build an energy converter for quite a while so we're gonna be not relying on that for piping or anything like that um but yeah I <laughs> going back to my story of Otakon he he was pleasantly surprised just because I don't think he was expecting someone to bring back a signature from the producer and have him sign it as well. Um, he was genuinely surprised when I'm like, oh, can you sign this for me? And I don't know. It's just, you'd think that uh, other people would do it. Oh, hello, skeleton. Or not skeleton. Hello, zombie. Just dropping out of this, just dropping in to say hi, I see. Uh, let's get some rotten flesh. 
because I'm the only person that da that stoops low enough to eat that I found. Alright, we'll fill this in with sand, I guess. Hoi hoi. There we go. Yeah, uh, let's get... There we go, and now we can get back. Kind of treacherous, but oh well, it'll work for now. Get up, get up. Why can't... What? Okay, why can't I get out of there? That was weird. Uh, oh yes, and then I actually got, I got another signature as well on the same picture. Uh, by the voice actor for my favorite character in the series, uh, uh, Kyoko Sakura. Uh, played by Ai Nano Nan Nanoko. Yes, Ai Nanoko. There we go. Got the, got the correct name this time. Oh god, it's as it's as bad as trying to remember the name for Puella Magi. Or Madoka Magica. <laughs> uh, for those of you that don't know, I actually put on a panel of Madoka Magica. Uh, going over moral philosophy and other stuff. Other fun stuff. When I went to Otakon last year, so that's why it was even more important for me to actually return and be like, hey, this stuff is freaking awesome to me. So yes, that was my weekend. Oh shit, shit, shit. A little too close. Oh wait, there's water. Come on, hurry, hurry. Oh, thank god. Oh my god, I can't believe I did that. Oh my god, how stupid am I? Alright, crafting bench away. And, you know what? Iron Furnace. I don't care. I can't believe I did that. Yeah, because Iron Furnace will smell much better than a regular one. And chicken! Oh no. Before anything else happens, let's get some food in this body. Oh yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Nice and full. Hell yeah. Hopefully, how much hunger do we have? 15 more seconds. Hopefully, we'll still have over nine little, little chicken things next to it. Oh. Wait a minute, wait a minute. No, I'm gonna leave that out. I'm gonna leave this open because you can actually, like, click on this and press R. And it'll be like, hey, this is how you build a dispenser. And I'll be like, oh, that's cool, even though I know how to build a dispenser. Tell me how I build an end portal frame. No. Uh, tell me how I build a Nova Cataclysm. And they'll say, it's oh, these things. And there's a zombie. And with Tekkit, Red Power, and whatever else the hell is part of the Tekkit package, uh, this is going to be the most handy thing we can ever have. So... Yeah, I know it's too many items as well, but I'm not going to actually be using that, so it's okay. It's totally cool. Alright, let's get some more iron. Cooking up, yeah! Anyway, I did that. Cosplayed a little. Uh, nothing special. Um... I'm actually going to be cosplaying at some later point as, <laughs> get this, a Swamp Bender from the original Avatar The Last Airbender series because I have a group of friends who did uh, Legend of uh, Korra. Yeah, Legend of Korra cosplays, which I'm not that big of a fan of Legend of Korra, but it's in the Avatar universe, so whatever. And they're like, oh, I really want to do... Avatar The Last Airbender cosplays next time, or at another convention, so I'm like, hmm, well, you know, Swamp Benders, they're funny, they're cool, yeah, I'll do it, <laughs> and that's how that was created, oh my god, I'm gonna be so embarrassed when I do that cosplay, but I don't care, Those people are gonna be like, oh my god, Swamp Benders, <laughs> I love that episode. Those episodes. Wasn't there two episodes? Yeah, there were two episodes revolving around the swamp, weren't there? Maybe it was only one. I know they came back, but... 
I mean, everybody comes back in Avatar The Last Airbender, Legend of Aang, depending on whether you're from the east or the west. Well, the center or the west. <laughs> Uh, yeah, for those of you that didn't know, uh, Europe, it was actually called, uh, Legend of Aang, not Avatar The Last Airbender, so. Which, I mean, I don't know why they didn't just call it that here as well, I mean, it revolves around Aang, but. I guess it works as well. Alright, before we use up our iron pick, I'm actually gonna save it. Because we can build a better pick than an iron one. And we can actually save our iron one for something else. Let's get some copper. No, too much copper. Let's get some some tin or silver. I think that was tin. Tin will come in very helpful as well. There we go. Smelt some tin. Smelt some tin. And we will make a Uranium pick. No, it will make a sapphire pick, actually. And never use our iron pickaxe again. <gasps> Yay. Wait, we already had sticks. God damn it. Now let's explore down here, you know? It's a huge cave system. I'm really glad we're right next to one. Aw, oh, man, never have to go anywhere again. Just stay right in our own backyard. Get all we need. Hell yeah. <laughs> now, what we need to get now is probably diamonds? No, we need redstone. Oh my god, we need so much redstone. Let's, let's go deeper. Let's dig too deep. Ah, some silver. It's always nice. Yes, just give me all that silver. I think that's silver. Yeah, that's silver. I don't even know what silver is used for. I don't think I've ever used it, but... And some more tin. Now let's go. Let's go. Deeper. Into the depths. Into the darkness we shall run. I won't continue the rest of that song. <laughs> Tell me you are Satan's daughter. I don't remember the rest of this song, because I haven't sung it in so long. I just know the chorus, and I'm not going to sing that. Because <laughs> it's a little awkward. If you're not with real good friends who have heard the song before and love it as much as you do. <laughs> I'm not saying you guys are, aren't real good friends. I bet you are, but just don't feel comfortable. Singing it right now. <laughs> uh, what else has happened? I've been going with OX Girl Fu to a lot of her gigs because she actually uh, does a lot of uh, instrument things. See, I don't know how uh, how how uh, coy about OX Girl Fu I can actually be, and. How much she'll uh, be like, oh my god, I can't believe you said that about me. Why? I wanted to keep that private, even though I'm... Uh, see, I can't even say... I can't even finish the joke. Because I don't know how much she wants... To, she's comfortable with me saying. Oh, well, you actually cleared out a bit for me, creeper, so... Ha <laughs> ha, joke's on you. You didn't even hit me, I don't think. Oh, you hit me for like half a heart. Not like you can even get these emeralds. Same as the Sapphire, makes pretty good tools. They do pretty much the exact same as Diamond uh, for speeding, speediness in mining. Uh, they just cannot mine Obsidian like Diamond can. So they have the ability of Iron, just the durability of the durability and speed of Diamond. Or, er, yeah. No, I said Iron. Okay, no, I'm, I'm good. Oh... But I've been going with an with OX Girl Fu to a bunch of her gigs. I don't think she'll have a problem if I refer to him as that, because she refers to him as that everywhere else. Is that a skeleton shooting me? No. I didn't hit the lava. And well, she goes 
a bunch of places. Pretty much like three hours away is her radius, I think. Because she does different things. I'll let you fill in the blank. Think what you want to think about what she does. Um, get rid of that. Gonna get some Nicolite. So that'll come in handy later on. Oh. I wish it were something else. Something like diamonds, but oh well. Let's get rid of the base hall. We don't need that. We've got a huge source upstairs. There we go. Perfect. Some tin. Probably shouldn't be mining right down, but I don't care. I'm a rebel without a cause. <laughs> and yeah, we've been going up to like Vermont and Maine and stuff like that. And I actually, as you all know, I worked security for BronyCon. And when we were up in Vermont, we actually had a hankering for ice cream, but we couldn't find like an ice cream shop or anything like that. So we went around until we found a Shaw's. And well, we saw a guy there. And well, I had on one of my my little pony shirts because I'm a fan and I'm gonna wear the shirts because I like the show, you know? And he's like, I think it was the BronyCon 2012 spring shirt actually. And he's like, hey, are you a brony? I'm like, yeah, did you go to BronyCon? I'm like, yeah, I work security. And about now I'm like, wait a minute, you're familiar. And he's like, I work security too. And I'm like, oh my God, I totally know you. And just completely out of the blue, I, I met this guy that I knew from BronyCon because I worked with him, which was probably one of the coolest things that ever happened to me because I was not going out of the way to like search him out or anything. It's just, it just happened and <laughs> it was crazy. Oh crap. There we go. I need redstone. I saw rubies. Yeah, those are rubies. Do not need you. Do not want. Well, I do want, but not now. Not now. Oh, redstone, thank you. You're gonna need so much of you. Uh, let's see, what can we get rid of? I wanna hold on to the eggs. No, let's get rid of the eggs. Doesn't matter. Oh, thank god. Redstone all over the place. There we go. Alright, we can head back up up top now. Guess we'll have to collect some of that smelted ore. That's fine. We can uh we can just grab that. But yeah, uh first delve deep into the caverns below our house. I mean I know we did a little mining last episode, but uh this was This was much more productive and we got a lot lower, so yeah, I think I'm gonna call that a let's update episode. Oh, we could have just consolidated those. I'm a dumb. I'm such a dumb. We'll leave some coal in there. Why the hell not? But we're gonna be making our way back surface. Surface, uh, ways. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. And we haven't even touched this place yet. Let's cap you off first. There we go. Things a little bit easier when we finally decide to go down there. Alright, so. Still nighttime out, that's okay. We got a nice blocked off area. Actually, I'm gonna wait around and then a creeper's gonna come up behind me and blow this all up. And I'm gonna be like, oh my god, that was terrible. No, I guess not. Put a door there in a few seconds next episode, I guess. Alright. Next episode, I'll probably decide to craft an actual house as well. And it'll be glorious! It's kind of weird that I haven't blocked any of this off. It's just completely open. Let's get some of this. Some of these, some of those. Okay, I'm going on way too long now. I see more iron. I see more marble. Alright, so I will see you guys next time on Let's Craft an Update with me, Oxfu. Let's open this up a little. Take it easy.
Yeah, I like that. That's nice. Yeah, I like that. Alright. Copper. Let's put you for the iron. 